Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're channeling the Divine Masculine Twin Flame Collective Energies today. And without any further ado, we can begin the message straight away. It's been coming out quite a bit this week, this card. It was really me, not you. My beloved Divine Feminine. I had a lot of healing to do, and I still have some healing to do, we all have some healing to do. So, if I behaved in ways or said things to you that you didn't deserve to hear, please know that it wasn't about you, it was about my blocks that I was showing you, because you have the know-how and the ability and the gifts to go within and resolve them. Thank you for not having not thank you for not being defeated by my blocks. My blocks, when I show them to you, they're not there to defeat you. They're there for you to work through them. Unfortunately, that's my job. It's not my job to show you whether your inner work has been successful. It's not my job to show you your success. It's my job to show you where you're upset. It's my job to show you the parts of yourself that are crying out to be loved so you can send divine love to those places. So please don't project the upsets any the upsets onto me because you're not responsible for the way I feel about things and I'm not responsible for the way you feel about things. If I'm showing you a pattern that's been present in every one of your past relationships, then that pattern doesn't actually have anything to do with anyone but you, which is good news because you have absolutely everything that you need to resolve these little problems. And with every little problem, with every block that you clear, with every little issue that you, you resolve within yourself, we come closer to each other. Be free from stress, identify this. And if I'm showing you the same behaviour over and over again, or the same block keeps coming up over and over again, Please, um, please give yourself credit where credit's due, because it's not the same thing over and over. It's, it's showing up again because you're going deeper, and you're identif you're do you're doing the work. You, you may have to do, see me apparently the same exercise, ten dozen times, but. But you're doing the inner work and you have the resolve to keep doing the inner work until it is done. And it's not just about doing enough inner work, it's also about identifying and isolating the places in your consciousness which need working on. And you're doing that, you're identifying these pieces. Sometimes it can feel like opening a whole new can of worms and you wonder how many more there's going to be. But that's the process. You're working the process, baby, and you're doing it brilliantly. You hold in your heart a space to be filled. But only you can fill that space. Only you can put love in the places that are asking to be loved. Because if you feel that you need me to do anything for you, then I will have no option but to mirror the opposite. Because this is, it's not on me to do, it's on you. We, we may have part, places in our consciousness that have been forgotten and have been very, very unloved. So we may need to love these places very consistently. But you're doing it. <clears throat> you're identifying these places. You're going to them. You're bringing divine love there. Until the bad feeling dissolves. Replace the bad feeling with divine love. 
be the divine being of love and light that you are. That's what attracts me to you. I'm sorry I haven't told you that I love you. Yeah, it really was me, not you. Uh, I have said a lot of things that I didn't mean. I've done a lot of things that were not me. But you, as you grow and expand and evolve and transform and your vision increases and becomes clearer, you can differentiate between in truth and illusion. The illusion of what's happening versus the divine truth. And the divine truth is that I truly love you. For me there is no other. I knew that we'd been married in past lifetimes the first time I saw you. I have this love goes way beyond this lifetime and I see you as so perfect and magnificent and it's like you are not of this earth you're a heavenly being you have a celestial beauty and I don't always feel worthy of that would you give me the chance and to make things right between us, you know, will you have me back after I've gone through my own process, after I've gone through my own revealing process, after I come to the point at which I recognise you as my one true love? What can you make thing? What can you make right for yourself? and in yourself at this moment by making things right within yourself things are made made right between the both of us there we are gain clarity but please know that the answers that you seek are all coming the clarity that you're seeking is returning to you keep the faith because you really do need stupendous amounts of faith on this journey stupendous amounts because the divine truth doesn't often correlate with what the physical senses tell you but with twin flame dynamics they're the opposite of any other relationship go by your inner knowing the physical senses won't tell you the truth. Choose a natural solution when possible. Yeah, you don't have to look outside of yourself to find solutions. You already have all the solutions within you and you're gaining the clarity to be able to tap into them at will when you wish all of me hungers for you you are flawless well it's the divine that we all hunger for and I see the divine in you and you see the divine in me and that is why we're so in love with each other so really, take a moment, and this is the natural solution, take a moment to really see your own divinity, because that's when you see mine and that's when I see yours. I see how special you are, how magical you are, how perfect you are.
You're all I can think about. Remember to ask the right question. Yeah, when you're talking to the divine, it's very important that you do ask the right question. But having said that, the divine understands you. The divine knows what you're asking. And the divine knows that it's not so much what you say as why you say it. But to receive answers, to receive the, the divine answers that you seek, take a moment to slow down. Silence the mind. Be receptive to the answers and know that the divine speaks to you through all things and through all people. You just have to be attuned to receiving the answers. And that's what you're doing. <clears throat> you're moving into some real good vibrations. You're attuning to the divine. You're aligning your own will with God's will because God placed these desires in your heart for your twin flame. So your will and divine will are one and the same. It's safe. It's safe to know this. It's safe to know that you will not be deprived of what you want. Your desires were placed in your heart so that they may be fulfilled. The thing about dreams is that they come true. That's the divine truth. We may need to unlearn a lot of what we've been taught by society in order to accept this divine truth, but that's what we're doing now. These are the good vibrations that we're moving into. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there. I really hope you enjoyed this message and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.